What's going on guys, we're back once again. We're finally going to be discussing Digimon Adventure 2020, episode 33. Now, this episode takes place right after the previous episode, of course. Now, if you guys have not seen the uh, previous episode or even this episode, then I do recommend you guys go check it out before we get into any kind of spoilers. But I've given you guys enough time, so we'll go ahead and click off the video once again, and we're going to go ahead and get right into this. Now, this episode was very, I would say very... It wasn't more action-packed as it was more trying to figure out what exactly was going on because when we go to this episode we see where Izzy is informing everyone about what's going on in the real world we see Joe he's having the same issues with these Digimon in this um uh, this hot this, this sort of hot springs type of area still and then we see mimi she's getting celebrated with togemon we don't know exactly what's going on and then we see of course izzy is in a safe zone while there is stuff going on in the world and he's saying that we have to hurry up and make sure that uh we take care of this before it gets worse then of course we see matt with uh guru mine we you know trying to travel and then of course we see ty Sora and TK, they're basically trying to get to wherever they're going. They see more Black Lightning. And of course we see Skull Knightmon getting orders to do something with Kari to perform this some type of ritual or whatever to these other uh, other Digimon. And when this happens, we do see where uh, everyone sees them and then they go on the offensive to try to rescue Kari. And as soon as that happens, some type of ritual happens and we basically see where Sora and TK and we see Bergamon, we see uh, Pegasmon give Ty enough time to go after his little sister so that way he can rescue her. But as soon as he gets close in to try to grab her hand, Kari somehow goes inside Skull Nightmon while this ritual is going on. And Ty's basically saying, I'm not going to let anything happen to her and I'm going to do what I can to save my sister. And when he goes further to try to rescue her and go through all these defenses that Skull Nightmon has, and finally, Ty gets mad enough to where uh, Greymon transforms into where War Greymon and then goes on the offensive and just lays in the Skull Nightmon in, in this episode. And we see where the rest of the gang is trying to uh, use uh, other tactics to make sure because we see uh, Bergermon's handling the uh, Digimon that Skull Nightmon was riding uh, in the air. And then we also see, of course, uh, Pegasmon is taking on other Digimon that are trying to go in, but what's really weird is all this power that's uh, illuminating in this crystal uh, for all this power that I'm guessing they're trying to birth another kind of Digimon. don't know exactly who, but we do see where other Digimon do die, and then we see the other ones die, and then right in the uh, inside of Skull Nightmon, we see a Digimon that Kari is trying to talk to, and then Basically, we see almost the same thing that TK had to deal with in that one episode where, of course, when he released Patamon, we do know that, I guess, uh, in this one, of course, who do we see? Gatamon. Now, we see Gatamon and, of course, Skull Nightmon right after where Ty uses War Greymon and War Greymon goes through Skull Nightmon to basically break through, uh, I guess, this uh, humanoid sort of like prison that Gatamon was in to basically, I guess, use her energy to uh, bring forth this new kind of dark Digimon. And we see where Ty rescues his little sister. And of course, you know, uh, Gautamon in the, now in this uh, series, which I don't know why they supposedly changed the name to Tailsmon, which honestly, I prefer Gautamon. I'm gonna call her Gautamon because again, that's what I grew up with. That is the correct name for uh, uh, that character, if I'm not mistaken. So again, but we do see where, I guess she was in prison, I guess sort of like how Patamon was with uh, when he was on the uh, island, uh, Digimon. And we also see where Patamon does remember Gatamon and he says, so that's where you've been. And basically she does say that she is the other holy Digimon. So we do see where Ty informs uh, t uh, Kari, like, you know, you shouldn't have ran off. She says, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. And as soon as that happens, everything kind of goes to the way it's supposed to be, where they're all now reunited. And then we also see where these Digimon that were trying to bring forth this other Digimon, uh, sort of like an occult type of Digimon, where they basically say, okay, well, we'll find another opportunity to bring forth uh, this Digimon. And we do see where Gatamon really does already have a connection with Kari, sort of like how Patamon does with TK. 
which is pretty cool because again, you know, really brings a lot of memories back from the uh, four maps. So this is not originally how Gatsuman and uh, Kari met. Uh, of course, if you guys remember watching the original series, again, that's not how they met. Uh, which which is fine because again they, they're mixing it around they're making the evolutions a lot quicker they're doing a lot differently now if we do get a uh evolution from gatamon in the future i don't think we are going to be getting uh angel woman uh very soon i think if we do it's going to be a little too soon but i got this feeling they're going to give her the other evolution that they gave her in originally season three or two in the original digimon series i can't remember the name off this point so if you guys know that name go ahead and comment down below if you guys know what i'm talking about but also so I think we're going to get that just like how uh, Potamon got Pegasmon. So let me know what you guys think about this uh, episode regardless. I think it was really cool. I think it's really cool that we finally got Gatamon. I know it was coming, just didn't know when. So overall, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode in the comments down below. Let's go ahead and be respectful as well in the comments down below. If you guys could leave a big fat like and subscribe, click the notification bell. I'd greatly appreciate it. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys in the very next video in the comments down below.